Uh, one of the things I forgot to do is install ethers, which is a pretty vital part, so I'll just do that quickly. Yeah, so once that's installed, we'll go back to here and continue on. So we've done the whole declaring a reference to the ethers library and installed it, which is traditionally the, the wrong way around. Uh, next on to the API programming interface and its documentation. So we'll just get straight into that. First step is wallets and signers. Um, it's got some definitions here which are pretty useful. Um, but what I'm going to do is skip past all this and just get down to blockchain operations um, and querying the network. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check that I can get a balance um, check the balance of an address of an account. So So here I've got an account balance of zero. Um, but obviously, okay, probably not obviously, but um, this is actually working with the main network which we don't want to touch because the main network is real money. And we just want to use one of the test networks when playing around. Um, so the way to do that is just use one of the test networks. So one of them is called Rinkaby or Rinkaby. Um, and that, so you can switch the provider to Rinkaby by just part, one of the test networks by just passing the test, test network name into this provider declaration. And if you want to see what the definition of a provider is, you can come back up here somewhere. Running provider. Come on. Okay, it's in the next section. But yeah, so um, this gives a description of what a provider is and this is probably infura.io, it's probably the main Ethereum provider that just, it's just a abstraction layer that service that's offered. So you don't have to directly talk to the blockchain. It does it for you. So, um, so now we're on to the test network provider. Let's rerun this. And you can see that in here, there's, it looks like we've got some value. So what value is that? Um, let's find out. So what I'm going to have to do is just CL uh, console log this wallet to see what's inside it. Um, so let's run that. And you can see, so here's the private key, which uh, as a side note should never be revealed. Try and keep that secret. Uh, but whenever you want to look up anything you, or pay anyone, you're pretty much known on, on the network by your address. So if I get this address and I come into here, uh, so rinkaby.etherscan.io, and so just type that in and check its balance. So it's got 12.74 ether. So it looks like this number would be uh, the equivalent of 12.75 ether in Wei. And Wei is 1 16th of an ether. So it's kind of like the dollars and cents scenario. And that's obviously in hexadecimal, not decimal. Um, so 
we've got the balance of the test network. So now that we've got that, um, we'll want to see if we can transfer money. Um, and just also on a side note, is if you're wondering why there is value in this documentation's ad web address, um, blockchain address, sorry, let's go back. So this is obviously just a, a random account created by Ethers JS Rick Moo when he was creating the documentation. Um, so this would have had zero ether in it when he did this up. So um, what I thought I'd do was just help out and add some fake money to it in the Rinkopy network. So I did that by, if you go to the faucet, uh, rinkaby, faucet .rinkaby .io and follow the instructions there, and you can add value to a test network, to the Rinkaby test network <coughs> for any address that um, you, for anything that you have the address of. So it's not really a uh, lockdown secret kind of thing because it's all just te test network. <coughs> so that's what I did. I just went in and added some value just so I've got some value to play with. So if you ever find this empty, just go over to faucet.rinkaby.io and you can add value and then you can play with these this documentation without any hassle. So the next thing I want to do is transfer ether. So get this. And let's see if I can transfer value. So Okay, so you'll see here it's got insufficient funds, and that's because once again, this is using the main network, which doesn't have any money in it, and I'm not going to volunteer to put money in the real network, but as I mentioned, I, there's no problem about adding some fake money to the, one of the test networks. So to change to the test network, just put in the test network name into this function declaration, uh, and then run that again. And we've got a transaction. So that is your basic Ethereum balance query and basic transfer. So just go to rinkaby.io and use rinkaby.etherscan, and you can check the balance and top up the balance if you need and then you can do what you like here and also just if you don't want to use one of those one of these account addresses you can create a random wallet so i might just do that quickly um, And so it's Rinkaby. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't think Rinkaby. I'll see. So, yeah, anyway, you can create your own wallet. So, here you got your own private key um, and the address. Ah, there's the address. So, and also create your own account just by using this random wallet section. <clears throat> 